numbers that are re realistically expected to, ch to turn up um, in that protest movement and how the government, if at all, is reacting to reports of that being held. Well, uh, on the government's part, uh, the uh, uh, the anti-Islam uh, movie was uh, was uh, heavily uh, criticized and condemned uh, in the uh, in the session of the Shura Council uh, that was held uh, on uh, that was held on uh, Tuesday, and uh, also um, the uh, re regarding uh, the the turnout of uh, tomorrow's protest. Uh, the uh, the Muslim Brotherhood uh, throughout uh, the past year and a half during the uh, the military uh, rule, uh, whenever the Muslim Brotherhood, uh, Egypt's most powerful group, have called for a, a, a demonstration or a million man march, we see at least hundreds of uh, thousands of um, protesters uh, gather uh, in Cairo's landmark Liberation Square uh, and uh, to uh, call for the demands that have been uh, uh, pre-called for and uh, we know that the uh, Muslim uh, Brotherhood is uh, is uh, organized and uh, that it has uh, uh, called uh, and invited uh, Egyptians uh, from all walks uh, to uh, join this protest it is it is it is uh, they have also asserted that it has nothing to do uh, with uh, with uh, politics or that, that there is uh, there is no other demands than that all Egyptians to stand in solidarity and to send a clear message uh, to the West that um, Egypt uh, is uh, 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 that the uh, for uh, the former policies of longtime dictator Hosni Mubarak towards the West and the United States, especially the United States and Israel, will not continue, and that Egypt post-revolution and under the leadership of uh, President Mohamed Morsi is different and uh, it will have uh, inevitably uh, a firmer stance towards the United States and that is why they are calling uh, for uh, uh, the expulsion of the American ambassador uh, to Cairo as well as the uh, uh, also uh, to register uh, their anger against uh, a movie that was produced by an American Israeli filmmaker uh, depicting Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. But Professor Fruit, I'd, I'd like to get you back in, if, if I may. Um, I wanted to ask you about, you know, the reaction that we're seeing right now as far as all these protests being held um, in front of U.S. embassies throughout the Middle East region. Um, how much of the anger, do you believe, is connected also to the United States foreign policy in general in the region? Well, I'm sure that's part of the backdrop. Uh, however, uh, just by virtue of this uh, religious issue alone would be enough for that. Uh, uh, there's a very strong feeling among uh, religious Muslims that it is improper for someone to do hate speech, tell lies, or in some way distort uh, anything relating to their religion. They think it's dishonest, they think it's evil, and they're going to protest it regardless of foreign policy issues. Right. So then, so then, how much of this of this protest movement then will, do you believe, affect U.S. foreign policy, if at all? Well, I think it will have a, a big impact uh, throughout all the uh, Muslim countries because uh, I think in most Muslim countries, a large percentage of the Muslims cannot understand why uh, religious Christians and others in America tolerate the. Uh, such uh, perverse movies uh, that we have in this country attacking Christianity and they're saying we do a better job of uh, protecting our religious values and maintaining a positive culture whereas you permit the, these kind of strange people to operate uh, with impunity in your own country. Right, uh, Karim, I'd, I'd like to get a correspondent back. And Karim, you know, um, we've been seeing uh, images, obviously, um, whenever we've gone live to Cairo, of clashes between the police and uh, and the protesters there in front of the U.S. Embassy. Um, how How is this affecting um, people's feelings towards the Egyptian government in general?
Well, uh, the, the, this, uh, such actions uh, makes the uh, people of Egypt uh, reminiscent of the uh, uh, oppressive uh, methods of the uh, former regime, uh, Hosni Mubarak's regime, and that they're using uh, excessive uh, force um, uh, against the protesters. Uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, many are uh, aware that um, the, uh, the, uh, that the uh, revolution has ousted Hosni Mubarak, and now with the first First free and fair elections, and uh, having President Morsi in uh, in office, uh, and uh, things uh, have changed, and that uh, 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 President Morsi is one of the people, and that he will represent the revolutions and will accomplish the demands of the revolution, and that the uh, Central Security Forces standing outside the. Um, U.S. Embassy in Cairo are uh, doing uh, are doing their uh, jobs and are, are being uh, are being uh, dictated what to do, or uh, they're uh, giving direct orders from the high-ranking uh, officials in the uh, Ministry of Interior and in the Central uh, Security Forces to deal with the protesters or to uh, disperse uh, the uh, protesters. And uh, uh, during during the uh, military, uh, it is also worth mentioning that um, during the military rule during the 18 uh, tumultuous months of military rule here in Egypt um, we have uh, we have seen um people in, in uh, several clashes between the Central Security Forces and the army and the protesters, um, uh, people uh, dying, uh, live ammunition, um, bird shots and uh, uh, a lot of uh, casualties. And, um, also today, uh, we have seen, uh, uh, according to the eyewitnesses and the medical reports from the uh, Ministry of Health, around 220 people were uh, 220 people were injured, and um, the uh, the people uh, are uh, see, uh, did, did not see uh, uh, any uh, live ammunition, or there was no one uh, killed. So uh, many believe that uh, the uh, uh, that the uh, Central Security Forces are. Um, doing uh, uh, their uh, job, a national job, which is uh, protecting the uh, country and to uh, protect uh, a premises of uh, a, a, the, um, a foreign, uh, a foreign uh, country in, uh, on, its, on its land. And it is something that has to do with the sovereignty of the country. Um, uh, and, uh, but uh, this, uh, all this uh, is not uh, hindering the uh, protesters from uh, from uh, voicing uh, their uh, rage against the United States, but it seems that uh, the Central Security Forces um, surrounding the uh, the uh, U.S. Embassy in Cairo have been given strict orders in order not to uh, allow the protesters to approach the embassy and to disperse the protesters as much as they can. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, consequence to uh, the uh, extensive amount of tear gas that we are uh, seeing and uh, as we speak now the um, central security forces are um, are firing uh, tear gas uh, in an attempt to disperse the protesters that are still uh, uh, outside the uh, US embassy um, calling for the expulsion of the American ambassador to Cairo as well as the release of their uh, of the other uh, protesters, according to the uh, according to the protesters, there uh, and uh, and some uh, media reports that uh, at least um, 30 protesters have been uh, detained uh, by the uh, Central Security uh, Forces, and uh, the uh, protesters are calling for their uh, immediate release as they uh, are uh, asserting that uh, the protesters were not. Uh, outside the embassy to instigate violence or anything, they were. Uh, they are saying that they were. Uh, they were outside the embassy to have to uh, call for their demands and to um, express their uh, extreme frustration and to declare their satisfaction with an anti-Islam movie that they believe was uh, a strongly sponsored and supported by the United States. That is why they are saying that. Um, they uh, cannot no, they can no longer uh, stand the uh, the discriminatory policies and the anti islam uh, uh, the anti islam uh, attitude the west is showing and um, that uh, the the they are um, un, uh, the, the are undermining the uh, the uh, muslims uh, worldwide and this is uh, uh, this is why they are saying that uh, they will continue uh, uh, with their uh, demands and with their protests 
which has started, uh, uh, which has now uh, entered its uh, fourth uh, day, and uh, the uh, uh, protesters are saying that they are determined to uh, accomplish uh, their demands, and they have uh, they have hope in the newly elected government and President Mohamed Morsi, who has already today um, uh, uh, strongly condemned this anti-Islam uh, uh, movie as uh, the uh, lead as uh, as uh, the uh, le as the leaders of the Muslim uh, world and uh, 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 has uh, uh, condemned this uh, movie and uh, but uh, on the other hand uh, the people hope that uh, President Morsi would uh, take uh, uh, an immediate, a, a, a firmer uh, stance, and 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 uh, a more uh, and uh, 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 an action that would uh, would that would appease uh, the uh, people, the out the outrage people over uh, a movie that uh, insulted the Holy Prophet of Islam. All right, Professor Foote, we just have under a minute left, so I wanted to give the final word to you. You mentioned something earlier about um, not only uh, Muslim sanctities being uh, offended in the United States in, in the past, but also Christian sanctities, etc. Uh, do you believe that there needs to be a reform then of this uh, quote-unquote freedom of expression um, in the United States? I don't think that'll happen. Uh, we've had a uh, long tradition of uh, people being able to change from any religious group to any other religious group, to agnostic, atheist, back and forth. And so uh, the price we paid is to tolerate that. Of course, uh, many of the people who came here early in America came from Europe where we had the Spanish Inquisition and other terrible treatments by uh, the Catholic Church against people who disagreed with uh, their teachings. And so uh, we would not be swinging very far back uh, the other direction. All right, well, we'll have to leave it there for now. That was Professor Paul Sheldon Foote, a professor of, at the California State University, speaking to us via Skype from Irvine. Professor, we do appreciate your insight here on Press TV, and we were, of course, also joined by Kadim Gubanadin, Press TV's correspondent, who is speaking to us live from the Egyptian capital, Cairo. Well, do stay with Press TV throughout the day, as we will give you uh, coverage of these events uh, in front of U.S. embassies, these protest movements occurring because of that anti-Islam movie. I'll be back in about four minutes' time with the World News in full. Your news everywhere. Watch Press TV Live. My Press TV mobile apps. Latest news in your hands. Available on Symbian, iOS, Android, Blackberry, and Windows Phone.